Showdown in Zuri. Shakiri Richardson versus Julian Alfred, who will reign as Sprint Queen. Welcome back to Davis Sports Report. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to help us grow the channel and turn on notification to be updated as we drop new content. The rematch between Shakiri Richardson and Julian Alfred at the Zurich Diamond League on September 5th is shaping up to be one of the most anticipated races of the season, especially since we haven't seen or heard from our girl Shakiri since the Olympics. In fact, this will be the first time they faced each other since the 2024 Paris Olympic, where Alfred shocked the world and Shakiri by winning the 100 meter gold medal, marking Sanusha's first Olympic title while Richardson took silver. What does this mean for Shakiri, Julian, the sprint world, and the common fans? Let's look at it. For Shakiri, a victory in Zurich would be monumental. It would not only serve as a redemption after her Olympic defeat, but also reassert her status as the world's fastest woman, a title she claimed after her world championship win in 2023. A win would demonstrate her resilience and the ability to bounce back from setbacks like we know Shakiri can, solidifying her dominant force in women's sprinting once again. On the other hand, if Julian Alfred triumphs, especially if she wins both the 100 meter and the 200 meter events, which she's participating in both, would solidify her emerging status as the new face of women's sprinting. Coming off of her Olympic success, another victory over Shakiri would signal a changing of the guard in sports, with Alfred positioning herself as the leading figure in track and field. With the Jamaican trio still out, the stakes are incredibly high for both Shakiri and Julia, and the outcome could significantly influence the narratives in women's sprinting moving forward. I, for one, am very excited and cannot wait for this race to get underway. Hopefully there will be no rain, no weather impediments, no committee blocking anyone out of the warm-up areas, just pure mano e mano, or should we say woman e womano? I don't know. Either way, we wish great starts for both athletes coming into this race, and we know that this will indeed be a showdown. As always, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. See you in the next video.